Kiki class, it is Mrs. Gilling here, and I am excited to let you know about your Unit 4 projects. Before we do that, I've got to share a joke with you that I read today. You ready? So what do you call it when you put your mom's mom on speed dial? Instagram. Get it? Instagram. Your mom's mom, your grandma, she's on speed dial. Boom! A great joke. I thought so anyways. All right. Enough with the jokes. Let's go on to your project four requirements. So here's your first option. This is the option that's in flip switch. So on this project, you will research several major sports, football, basketball, hockey, skiing, tennis, and golf. Your goal is to discover where and by whom these sports are typically played. Also, find out what is the cost for someone who is not a professional to play these sports. In your research, you can contact coaches, players, and parents of players to find out costs for each sport by calling or visiting a high school athletic department, and or you may conduct research online. Write a five-paragraph report on your research that includes details on each of the six sports. You need to discuss where each sport is usually played, who the typical player is, and how much it costs to play the sport. Include a list of expenses that are normal if one wants to play the sport and be sure to cite your sources at the end of your report. Make sure to do it in MLA format. So this one is pretty cool if you like sports and you're interested in seeing you know, what kinds of people play sports and how much they cost. In a nutshell, you're going to have to figure out the things that, it, that I just read. You need to figure out how much it costs to play each of those six sports. So for each one, you need to do research. So football, basketball, hockey, skiing, tennis, and golf. How much does it cost to play those sports? Um, and they kind of break that cost down a little bit. What equipment, what does the equipment cost? What does it cost to use the fields if they require different fields or courts, uh, membership fees, those sorts of things? How much does it cost? Who usually play, plays that sport and where does that sport get played? And by where does that sport get played? I want to know kind of in what part of the world so or what part of the country, if you want to focus more on the United States. So where is a lot of basketball played? Uh, where is a lot of golf played? Where is a lot of hockey played? So this, one's, this, this project is really just a five-paragraph essay. Make sure you have a good introduction your three body paragraphs, and you can break that body paragraphs up into whatever way that, that you would like. If you would like to pick, you know, two sports and discuss them in each paragraph, that's fine. If you would like to talk about all the sports and you know, talk about one element first, maybe talk about the cost, and then another paragraph you could talk about where they're played, um, those sorts of things. Whatever you want to do, it's fine. Just make sure to include all of that information there. And in Flip Switch, I've created a chart that you can use that that will help you organize it. It's just a, a Word document that you can open up and you can put your information in a chart to help you when you go to write your essay. And a, a lot of students find it helpful to do that. But again, if you, if you like writing essays and you're into sports, this is a, a good option for you. Just a five paragraph essay answering those questions. Who the typical player is, so who usually plays each of those six sports, how much does it cost to play, and where where is it usually played. And I think you'll have a, a great time with this assignment. It's pretty, pretty uh, eye-opening, pretty fun. So here's your second option that you can choose from. And this is one in Flip Switch. So this one is not a video. I decided to do something a little bit different here. So it's, uh, it's not a heavy writing assignment, <clears throat> but it's also not one where you're just going to sit and watch a video. So here's the instructions. Throughout the unit, you will be learning about education, religion, and sports. Sports. Each plays an important role in society. For this assignment, you will pick one of those topics and ask 10 people to list three reasons why they think the topic you picked is important in society. Put your answers in the in our Google Classroom. Answer the following questions in three to five sentences. Based on your survey, why is the topic you chose important in society? Write at least three sentences. So sorry for the, the typo in there. I should have caught that earlier. But so for this project, you're going to do a survey. So you're going to find 10 people. I don't care how you do this. You can go on Facebook if you want to post it and see what 10 people answered. You can go uh, talk to your neighbors. You can maybe if you're going to a sporting event, you can talk to people at the sporting event, uh, whatever it takes. But I want you to ask 10 different people. You're going to find a chart in in Google Classroom, there's going to be a chart that you are going to fill out. So for each person, you're going to write their name. Just their first name is fine, just so I know that you're talking to different people, not making the information up. So write down their name, and then just ask that person. 
So pick one of the things, right? You're not doing it for all of them. Decide whether you want to learn about education, religion, or sports. And based on the one you picked, you're going to go up to the people and you're going to say, why do you think religion is important in society? What are the top three reasons why you think religion is important in society? Or if you're choosing to write about sports, go up to the people and say, why do you think that's, what do you think the top three reasons are that we have sports in society. What's its purpose? Why is it here? Or the same thing with education. If you choose to do education, you know, why is education important in society? Give me three reasons. And I want you to do three because, you know, if you do one, you might just get the same answer over and over. I think it's good to see multiple purposes. And honestly, these things are multifaceted. There's more than one reason why we have sports in society. It serves more than one purpose. Same thing with education and religion. So it's really an eye-opening experience. After you've gathered all of your data and you've put it in that chart, like I said here, you're going to answer a short essay question. It only needs to be three to five sentences. And the question is, based on your survey, why is the topic you chose important in society? So if you chose religion, you're going to go through what people had to say about religion, their top three reasons why it's important in society, and you're going to kind of break it down and you're going to review it. And then you're going to kind of summarize that all up in your own words and write three sentences Religion is important in society because, or based off my research, religion is important in society because. So it's uh, it's different than the sports writing assignment. I, I actually like this assignment best, but it's totally up to you. I just like this one because this is a sociology class, and it gives you the opportunity to kind of go out and talk to different people and learn from people in society uh, why they think these institutions are important. And so... Again, choose whatever you want, but this is definitely a fun option if you want to do that. And just remember, this one is found in Google Classroom, and that's where you'll turn it in. I'll just change your grade and flip switch once you once you put the, the information there, and I grade it for you. So now that you've watched this, just remember, a few people are forgetting, but go and complete the video assignment for Unit 4 in Flip Switch. And if you do that, you'll get some credit in our Google Classroom. I'm sorry. Go complete it in your Google Classroom, then I'll grade it and put your grade in Flip Switch. But I need you to complete those video assignments because they help me know that you understand the projects. And it gets you some credit for sitting in and watching these videos. So thanks a lot for all your hard work, guys. And, and definitely, if you're struggling at all, please let me know. I'm here to help. Have a great week, guys.